Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about Problem Set 5 Bank Back to Bank of CS50 Introduction to Programming with Python. If you would like to ask anything about programming or the career, schedule a free meeting with us, the link's in the description. And we would like to emphasize that this video solution is made for those who have already completed the assignment and want to have an alternative view about the problem. We totally disencourage plagiarism. So this problem here, we're going to re-implement the Home Federal State banks of problem set one, restructuring the code per the below. And, and in this case, we're going to reuse the code that we did for bank.py. If you want, we already have a video explaining how we did bank.py. Uh, it will be here in the card, all right, we have here in our channel. I highly, highly suggest you should take a look. And then we're going to do a testing in this function for the greeting. So I don't know if you remember, but basically the bank problem, let me show you in here. Basically the bank problem, we were asking for a greeting. All right. If the greeting was hello, we would return zero dollars. If the greeting start with H, we would return twenty dollars. And if uh, in the other cases, we would return a hundred dollars. So let's try it out. If we do Python Bank .py, and I say hello, it would return zero dollars. All right. If I do hi, it returns twenty. And if I say like good morning it will return $100, all right? This is the idea of bank. Now we need to implement a program to test if this function is working, all right? The part of returning the value of the greeting, zero, 20, or $100. So to do this, I have here our test underscore bank.py, all right? This will be the file where we're gonna work with testing. And we're gonna test the cases where we have to return zero, that we're gonna test the cases where we have to return 20, and finally test cases where we have to return 100, all right? So before we start, let's understand how testing works in Python. So uh, during the lecture of CS50 of week five, we can see that they are always explaining how to test things using this assert keyword, all right? So here, let's understand how this assert keyword works, okay? This is W3Schools, one of the best resources that you can use to check what a keyword, what is a keyword, for example, assert, break, and other words, or how a function work as well, okay? And you have multiple examples. So let's understand in here, the assert keyword is using when debugging code, in our case, when testing a code, all right? The assert keyword lets you test if a condition in your code returns true. If not, the program will raise an uncertain error. You can write a message to be written if the code returns false. All right, this part of displaying a message, we don't need to do, this is optional, okay? But we're gonna use this assert to test if a condition is returning us what we are expecting to return. If this condition is not returning us what we are expecting to return, we're going to, uh, this means that our function isn't working the way it is supposed to be, all right? Let's see this example. For example, we have a variable x equals to hello. If we want to check, we do, x equals to hello, assert x equals equals goodbye. The assert keyword lets you test if a condition in your code returns true. If not, the program will raise an assert error. In this case, the assert will raise an assert error because hello is not equals true goodbye. Thinking about another example where we want to check if our function is working. Let's suppose we have the file above def main, this is our main function, and we're printing true square is, and we're calling the function square, passing the parameter true. Then we are defining our square function and our parameter is n, and we're doing return n times n. If we want to test the square function, we can run the test, test underscore calculator.py, where we do from calculator import square, then we define our main function calling the function test square, and then we define our test square function doing assert square true is equals to four. In this test, the assert keyword will return true because the square of true is four. This means that our function is working the way that it's supposed to. If we change the function with square by returning only n instead of n times n, once we run the test, the assert keyword will raise an assert error because our function is telling us that square of true is true, but it should be four. This means that there is something wrong with the square function. 
So now that we saw how it works here, the testing in Python, we're going to start implementing, all right? So to test the return zero, I'm gonna create a function here called def test return zero, all right? And what does return zero means? Here, we're gonna return zero if our greeting starts with hello, all right? And it can be all capital hello or all lower or mixed cases of hello here. But the main idea is if our greeting has hello, we have to return zero. Or if we say hello, Giovanna, it 